In this video, I'm going to teach you how to repair a browser hijack. Now, what recently happened to me when I was searching for schematics for that NAD receiver, a rogue website that pretended to be supplying me with a service manual actually planted a virus on my system. And I'm going to show you how to manually remove it using free available tools. Many people ask me where I get my service manuals from and I normally don't respond because there's no one specific site that I'll find manuals are at. I search Google and I do my research. I never recommend a site for any specific uh, website for any manuals because there are so many rogue sites out there. And in this case, I was searching for the NAD 7155 schematic and uh, well um, I got more than I bargained for you see there's all these files here you get to choose from and I clicked on one here and oops I just got a virus on my computer here's another example when you go to a website and it comes up with a message that says you know free download checkbox to continue if you look over on the right it says please read carefully well if you read that you're understanding that they're going to install a browser helper as they call it there's no way I'm going to allow this to install um, on my computer, but even though I don't allow this, I still manage to somehow get my browsers hijacked for Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Chrome. I eventually did find the manual, and I did not install. I did not install any additional software but just by visiting a couple pages that came up with a 404 error or the little oops this page cannot be displayed that was all it took to install a hijack on my browser and i'll show you what happened after getting the manual it didn't happen for about an i guess another couple times i opened my browser but it's i started getting redirected to this other page i think it was start page or something like anyway my browser started getting redirected from my normal google page to another page so i knew something was up and then this happened unbe freaking leaveable i just went to uh, open up my browser to uh, actually <clears throat> log into youtube and uh, this popped up hmm I have a strange stinking suspicion that my computer got infected with a virus while I was downloading a freaking manual for that um, NAD receiver that I needed the manual for. The first site that I went to that um, said it, there was a manual there and when I went to uh, uh, access the manual it came up and it said 404 forbidden you do not have access to this uh, to this uh, web page and I closed it down and the next time I opened up my browser I got redirected to a, a website instead of Google being my normal when I opened my browser I got redirected to one called start page I believe it was and now I'm getting redirected to this and uh, it won't even let me out of this thing. Will, will let me close it? Yes, I want to leave this page. I'll fire, try Firefox again. I have a sneaking suspicion. Oh, yeah. Launch page. There we go. I've been redirected to launch page. This is not my home page. My home page is supposed to be Google. So somewhere along the line something got into my goddamn computer when I was just looking for a, uh, a schematic that's the problem with the internet right and now I do run antivirus programs on this this is uh, locked down this computer here but uh, even what about my other browsers are they gonna get yeah like everything's being redirected redirect oh attention please install the HD video player to continue really just to uh, open up Internet Explorer uh, I don't want to install anything what about Chrome is Chrome going to be doing it too I bet you I bet you it's, I bet you everything yeah this has been sent to launch page too that's not my home page so we will run a scan on the computer 
We'll go to uh, full scan. Okay, we'll let that thing go and see what uh, what Microsoft security will find, and I bet you it's going to find a browser redirect here. This is going to take a while, so I'll leave the camera off while this is scanning, but uh, yep, yep, they got me. And I don't go to unsafe websites. This was uh, this was uh, one of the audio, you know, one of the one of the forums. When I, I just typed in a model number of that receiver and went looking for a schematic. And I say the first one I found, it said it was a PDF file. And when I tried to um, open the PDF file, it came up and it said uh, uh, error 404. These are 404 or 405. And it said, you do not have uh, privileges on Google Docs. And I thought that was kind of strange. And, well, looks like uh, someone's planted a Trojan horse and uh, disguising it as service manuals. Those bastards. Here we go. After the scan, it's found a browser modifier. Win32. We'll delete that and remove it and uh, then we'll run the scan again and see if there's anything more detected so I'll launch my browser again and see if my browser is going to work this time properly oh what's it doing okay good I ended up a bang good that's a site that I've been dealing with so that part worked. It didn't get redirected this time. Go home, it goes to Google. So now if I, if I go back to my settings here and uh, check my options, uh, my current page is uh, Google. And uh, when I close it down, it should uh, open back up into Google again. So there we go. Now we're opening web browser and I got sent to the launch page again so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to try and manually remove this redirect here if I go down to Firefox I'm going to right click on Firefox and uh, right click on Firefox and select properties target I think this is where it's this is where it's picking it up here I look up here aha see program files Firefox and here is where it's getting sent to Launchpad. So I'm just going to take that out. After the EXE, I'm going to delete everything that goes beyond that. So now my target is C program files, Mozilla Firefox, Firefox EXE. There we go, finally. Finally I got it going back to Google. I just had to take out that extension. I forgot to put my uh, quotation at the end for the target. Now we're back to Google. Need to do the same thing for the other, other uh, browsers too. So um, I'll go into Chrome, I'll right click on Chrome and look in the properties and we'll see that it's probably going to do the same thing. It's going to have all this uh, application, Chrome, and here we go, the launch pad. So we're just going to take the rest of this out, but i got to leave the quotation marks in. So I'll just delete the rest of this launch pad crap and apply it. And now when I launch Chrome, Chrome should go to its default, which is Google, and I'll do the same thing for... Internet Explorer. I'll, I'll right click on Internet Explorer and then right click on my Internet Explorer, select properties, and then I gotta go back here again. It's 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 tagged it right here. Here's the launch pad crap. Just go to your So this is what I'm removing here if you look under under properties. I'm gonna remove everything from beyond the quotes. So I'm just gonna press delete. and apply it and now if I launch Internet Explorer 
Internet Explorer is no longer going to redirect me. It's going to take me to my home page, which is Google. That's how I had to do this. So um, what happened on here was um, when I went to install or just correction, I wasn't installing anything. I was on a website that claimed to have the service manual for that NAD receiver. And of course when you search for it under Google you get a bunch of you get a bunch of uh, possible sites and I went to one site that I had been to before to download this manual and uh, when I went to install it, you know, you, they pre they present you with a bunch of options, and one of them is they want you to they want you to run an executable, and I don't run executables, so I went to a, a PDF, and I went to download the PDF. So I clicked on it, expecting the PDF to download, and instead I, I was greeted with the message. It just said for, uh, 404 error 404 uh, file not found. But obviously, something was embedded in that page that put the browser hijack on. So then, after that, every time I launched my browser, instead of going to my default page, I was getting redirected to that launch page. And then I was getting spam. I was getting um, pop-ups like crazy. So that's how you remove it. I ran uh, Microsoft Security Essentials, and it found that there was a browser helper that had been added. Microsoft Security took care of that, but then I had to manually go in and uh, remove it from my shortcuts. Problem solved. Okay, once getting my computer back up, I'm going to uh, just run some online scanners. So I'll go get Hitman Pro. See, I'm still getting these pop-ups that come up, so we'll uh, scan it with Hitman Pro. I've got a number of, uh, of, of online scanners that I can take a look at here. this one scan and see if it finds anything. So Hitman Pro scanned and it quarantined a couple of things and it deleted a couple of things that were left over and uh, all should be good now. It says to restart my computer. So I have to reboot and what I just removed with the free copy of Hitman Pro has hopefully got rid of any remnant that snuck past Microsoft security. So now you know the reason why I don't provide information where you can get manuals and schematics and stuff because I don't want to be the guy that sends you to a website where you get a virus and then I'm the bad guy. Thanks for watching.